How was your day? Good. I flew. I oh. came from Houston. Oh, nice. You're doing shows down there? Yes. I, uh, At the improv, the secret group. Oh, nice. The improv's too big. Yeah. And the improv in Houston is not in a great, it's not like a bad area. It's mainly a black room. Yes. Yeah. It's like the punchline in Philly. Yeah, yeah. Like I feel like if you're going, if you can fill out the Houston improv, then you might as well just do a theater show. Yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah. It's that big. It's pretty, it's like 400? 500. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's not only as big, it's also in a, like, uh, it's Houston has like four different skylines. There's like downtown Houston, which is where a secret group is. And then there's like a mall. The Galleria with, yeah, area. Yeah, with skyscrapers in it. Yeah. That is where, that's like 25, I hear nothing but bad things about Houston. I love it. Yeah. I actually yeah. do kind of like it's it. It's so to, cheap. And the food there is amazing. Food's good. Mexican? Yeah, but Vietnamese. Thai. Yeah, Thai, yeah. It, it's like a very diverse um, city, it's international actually. city. It's oil. It's very international. It's the oil true. business. True. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's Everybody's the suburbs that are there. white. You got to get the Irish in there. Yeah. yeah. Building stuff. There's not that many <laughs> yeah. Irish. No? No. Good. Good city. We yeah. didn't. We- <laughs> Up the 20s. I don't know. Too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. I haven't been doing research. No, we keep them out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys burn There's out. Too dude. many. This, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We hit the quota. You just got drunk, started building porta potties. No, I, I feel like the Irish and Italians are still building buildings. Am I wrong about that? I have yeah, no idea. Yeah, you know every fucking time. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. There's nothing worse than like a union worker. I'm like, yeah, you see that down here? <laughs> or do you hear about the new? I heard this this guy over telling somebody at a, at a fucking bar. He was like, yeah, you know that um, Roku? Yeah. The Roku buildings, their their headquarters. Yeah, I, I I built that. Dude. It's like no, you didn't, dude. You put in a couple of fucking recessed lightings. Dude. Yeah, screwed in a few How bolts, yeah. and then took a million lunch breaks. My um, brother loves going down a highway, going, "Yeah, I built that yeah. five years ago." It's like, shut the fuck up, dude. dude I I was at a big you got sh- drunk at lunch. I was at a big J show in Philly, and he was doing crowd work, and he was talking to some guy who was like a construction guy, and he's like, "Yeah, I build all the buildings for these pussies." <laughs> Jay, Jay was laughing so hard. It's such a funny thing to walk out of a building and enjoy your fucking building, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Just that attitude. Like, oh, I get my. you put a, you know, you, you walked up a couple flights, but get some boards. Yeah, it's also like, it's not the Empire State the Building. Process. I'm sure it's pretty yeah. good. No, there's nothing definitive about Houston that I'd be like, you've got to go. But to live there, it's great. Yeah, yeah. I imagine. Yeah. I imagine. The Manil, the Manil Museum. Manil's great. Is there. Good theater yeah. district. The who? The Manil Museum. It's like uh Art? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But it's sick. It's cool. We gotta go on our art walks. <laughs> we have uh, first of all, we gotta stop <laughs> drinking till four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> that that hurts the walks the next day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah those museums don't stay open walk. late. Do they? No, no, no. They we get we get though. up right around when they close. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 it'd be twilight hours for us. I saw Chris two minutes the last seventy two hours. I didn't drink yesterday though. Yeah, well, you yeah. slept twenty four hours. Dude, no, I watched Mind Hunter all the way through. I got finally got hooked on Mind Hunter. Dude, the Silence of the Lambs series. Uh, or, oh, no, this is different. Right? It's serial killers. Oh, serial yeah, killers. Yeah, yeah, I'm close. Yeah. It's yeah. Close I enough. remember that coming out like four years, five years ago or yeah. something. Yes. I got to the second episode. The acting was so bad. I was like, I can't do this. I There's know, a lot that's of bad acting on stuff. It yes. is so fucking bad. I yes. watched M. Night's new movie. I don't know how to say his last name. So it sounds Shyamalan. like we're tight. M. Night. M. Night. I would say <laughs> yeah. Shyamalan. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I think that's right. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's hard not to hit the ding dong yeah. after you get through Shyamalan. Yeah. <laughs> 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 just, it would just be right dude. there. It just feels is. so natural for me to go there. <laughs> That's dot in the eye, dude. <laughs> Crossing the T's. So you're watching Ding Dong's film? Yeah, I was watching Ding Dong's film. <laughs> and uh, the girl, she's cute, but we were like, she's so bad. It's so it, bad that it took us out a little bit. But the film yeah. was okay. Was it's it, crazy was how they old or whatever? No, what it's the it? knock on... The cabin or not? Uh, like that. Oh, my brother built that set. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he the made that cabin. Yeah. He had a small roll. That's why you can't knock on it, dude. You don't fall over. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole movie. The whole just movie. <laughs> shoddy construction. Shoddy yeah. union work. <laughs> <laughs> Ding dong, shoddy that's the union twist work. twist at the end. Is it's just a, it's a court, courtroom drama. <laughs> the union. Dude, Shamalama ding dong. <laughs> It's going to rock my skull at three in the morning. Dude. <laughs> I'm never going to forget that. 
<laughs> He's a nice guy. Uh, McKeever and I met him. Yeah. Yeah. When we were doing that. I don't, I don't have, I generally like his stuff. Some of it, you're just like, ah, here we go. Yeah. 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 But that beach movie was like a fucking Scooby-Doo. That Real. was, although I would have been fine if there was no ending to that movie. Like I would have just loved it if there just happened to be a beach that did that to you yeah. and you couldn't explain it. And then that's the story of these people's yeah. lives for that day. But I didn't need the ending for it. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty what much happens, what our last they, 10 like, years. They, they swim past the place where they can get young again or something. It's like a cancer research facility. And that's <laughs> why they made this or they figured this beach out. But that's why they trap people on it oh. so they can speed up medical research. Yeah. I'm so ignorant. I only saw the trailer, but I was going to be like, they go behind this one rock, they come back out 80 years older. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no there's idea what it's about. There's got to be it's someone problem. working. <laughs> it's just our life the last 10 years. We just go behind a closed door, come back out. It's like, we're older. <laughs> the old apartment. Yeah. Ding dong's a story. <laughs> Dude, now, there's got to be someone who's telling them to just stop put. Stop putting twists in things. Yeah. I think that's just his thing. Just write a movie. That that's his thing. whole shtick. Yeah. yeah. Now get rid of it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I just guess- write a movie. Just just as an exercise. Well, he's Nothing really else. good at creepy visuals. Like I always love. I mean, you saw him, right? Yeah. <laughs> good, yeah. That's his whole thing. Yeah. Just <laughs> visually he's a creepy. creepy visual. Yeah. yeah. I agree. That's the two I, things I want him to stop writing twists and I want Tom Cruise to stop doing action movies. Just do do some comedy. Just do it. <laughs> How great was he in Tropic Thunder? Yeah, yeah. yeah that it's would fantastic. Be sick. Yeah. And you don't have to, but he's weird. He's yes. I mean, I, I'm gonna come out and say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's been hidden for yeah. so many years. I'm dude. a little uneasy about this. Yeah, Tom we're gonna have to Cruise cut that guy. part because we don't want the podcast <laughs> blowing yeah. up. Keep shot along a dude. Ding dong. <laughs> ding dong staying in. Yeah. <laughs> it would be great for the pod if we drew Scientology's ire, dude. How yeah. funny would it be if we got into a beef with Scientology? <laughs> People freak out though. Like I remember doing stand up 15 years ago in LA and having a few jokes, and I felt like you couldn't joke about stuff like that. Really? Yeah. Well, I remember having this was years ago, like maybe 20 years ago when I lived in LA a friend's manager, I did a joke about like mental illness or whatever. And she's like, we just don't talk about that here. And I, I still, th- I thought about <laughs> it the other day. I was like, what a fucking idiot. Wait, this the manager yeah. of the club? No, of just like entertainment manager. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 But I just was like, what a weird, <clears throat> I feel like you're so out of it. Like who cares? Yeah. 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 Well, did you look at her wrist? She probably was like, we don't talk I about know. that. She's, yeah, a she's cutter. probably off. Yeah, yeah. She's a fucking cutter. <laughs> she's a psycho herself. Yeah, she probably isn't. That's why she's sensitive about it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Cause those yeah. Yeah, like people who are actually going through it are like, yeah, make, let's, let's talk, talk about, about it. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's yeah. joke about it. They're not like, shh. Yeah. They, they show you the wrist yeah. backwards by like pouring something out. <laughs> she's probably the one that causes it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It seems like yeah. the people that cause yes. it don't yeah. want yeah. you to yeah. talk about it. Yeah. 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 They just walk up to a comic, comic yeah. and be like, we don't talk about that kind of stuff. Right? God, you represent all of Los Angeles. Yeah. yeah. There isn't psycho. anything I wouldn't fucking it, like just being offended in general is, is nuts to me. Yeah. Visually I can understand. Like there's one, I like to watch fucked up shit. And my one buddy tags me in these online videos of like, they're like faces of death. Yeah, stuff. I yeah. like that normal stuff. But if he tags me in like a cougar killing a dog, like I can't, I can't watch yes. a dog being harmed by a wild animal. That fucks me up. Yes. yes. But yes. I can watch a, tossing a toddler into a wood chipper. Yes. You know what I mean? Like yes. there's no, yes, there's no in between. Just no dogs. Yeah. yeah. That's your sensitivity. And like small animals, like harmless animals, like fucking chains. Chains girl children. caught a mouse. But <laughs> yeah. fucking children. They're not harmless. They got parents. They can defend themselves. Yeah, they can. <laughs> yeah. They can scream for help. No, Shane had a little tiny mouse that got nipped at the butt. And he was just doing fucking 360s and uh, cartwheels and stuff. Oh, <clears throat> his girl came slide. down and you got to snip that. And, uh, and she was like, do something with this. And I was like, ah, my old roommate, when we caught a, a mouse that was still alive, oh, yeah. he would like, bag it and drop a cinder block on it. And I was like, I dude, I can't physically do that. No, no so I, I can't just like, either. toss it in a bag. Yeah. What's the smallest animal you could kill? <laughs> um, I, I ran one time ran over a crab and I was like, Oh yeah, that sucks. Ugh. I ran over a bunny and that an sucks. owl. Yeah. I smoked an owl, which is very difficult. And like a it's back roads are like the Poconos. Yeah. I feel like the bigger they get that, like the more emotional I get about killing them. 
Yeah, yeah, you should. Yeah. yeah, that seems natural. In some ways. Yeah. yeah. Unless I they're think like I a good Unless person. Unless they're like a baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you I know? went deer hunting and a deer was just like, he turned and looked at you, I'd be rattling. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. could yeah. never pull the trigger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, because no. I, I, I know I would miss, and they'd run for 20 miles. Or you snip them a little what? bit and you got to do a blood trail. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah you yeah. got to walk They're behind in pain them. now. Yeah. 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 Halfway there, you see a bar. You're like, why don't we just. It's what happens. <laughs> at, pick like, up on this. Dude, dude. <laughs> Some fries and a pint. <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing. I can't like, I can't fish in lakes anymore. I don't think. I, anytime I catch a lake fish, I'm just like, what the fuck? This no, no, no. Well, it depends on the size. You talk, like Ocean fish, I don't mind catching. See, what about like, because like, they're game kind yeah, of? Yeah, they're like it's out like in the wild. Fishing. You know what I mean? A, yeah. a lakes, I know that they're stocked. You always have to throw them back. You wind up catching the same one like three times. Yeah. What about a large lake? And then lake, it's like, just dying because it's an idiot. You yes. know what I mean? And you're that's not, a, I'm not good at fishing. That's a pond on like a, a fancy resort area, right? <laughs> no, no, I, think I love when, when comics all. do that shit. Like they'll post like a bass they caught and you see like the size of the pond. It's like, yeah. bass has been there 10 years. He's been on everybody's <laughs> line. Dude. Yeah. That's for a it's favorite. on a golf like, course. That's yeah. business. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, ba the bass just has a manager tag on it. It's yeah. Like, he's part of the fucking thing. What about like Wall and Paul Pack? That's a fucking huge, or win a, win a squam. Yeah, yeah, squam, squam's pretty big. You catch, but a, I think you they catch stock a fish those. on I, that kind of lake. I think they even stock them on Winnipesaukee. Maybe when it first started, <laughs> 150 <laughs> years ago when the I Irish built it. Them. I think they stock them like every year. They, yeah, I grew up on a lake in a corporate development, so of course they just yeah. throw the fish in there. Yeah, It's farm raised pretty yes. much. Yeah. Yes, yes. But the, those could, I didn't mind fishing and I, we'd always take the hook out, but like sometimes they would swallow it so yes. hard and the, the catfish is just like gurgling and you're like, oh my God, and I feel smack so its bad. And head. you're doing civil war surgery, yeah. and like trying to like get it out. You know, it's and it just like, when you let it go, it's just on its back and you're like, come on, little buddy. <laughs> <laughs> they never flip over and fall, fly away. No, Dude, you're just sinking it. So you're like <laughs> pretending it's alive. <laughs> There's been so many fishing trips where it's like, it's just me, my dad, and my brother, and we're having fun not catching anything, bitching about how much we suck at fishing and just complaining. And then we catch one thing, the hook's too deep, and then, and then it's just all of us covered in blood. <laughs> Dude, just, just all in. of us covered in blood so just going, bad. thinks mom's made lunch yet? Or yeah. We, yeah. Dude, we just went on a, a fishing, deep sea fishing trip with uh, for stripers. Did you really? Oh, yeah. And one of the striped bass we caught. It's too big. It has to be within like 28 to 36 inches. Okay, this so you have to throw like, it away. Yeah. All it's right, this fucking, back, well, yeah. essentially. Yeah. It's this big and the hook got so deep. We're all covered in blood. Ugh. The guy finally gets the hook out, puts it in the water and it didn't move. And we're like, oh, yeah. and I was thinking like, pick it back up. We can, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we can yeah, make yeah. something good with this. <laughs> yeah, at least eat I it. I know. Can you eat striped bass? I'm oh, sure yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's right? wonderful. But yeah. these ones were, I guess they're like breeders. They're yeah. like, they're too big. Yeah, they come, they come too well. But at that point, you're like, now we're just sending in an invalid back into the water. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So like, what if like uh, one of the give game- Give it a value. Yeah. <laughs> I know. The game warden catches it and he's like, you're, you're not supposed to keep this. Well, it was dead in the water. We got video on- yeah. On this kid's GoPro. Yeah. We, you can see it, not yeah. swim away. And therefore, we, we gain the right to take it home. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I know. Your honor. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Three months later, I'm fucking, I got a giant beard. <laughs> I'm full of Pop-Tarts and fucking I know. my aunt putting money in my account. Yeah. Uh, do you guys have to get fishing licenses? Because we didn't need to yeah. have one growing up. Yeah. But I find that to be so irritating. I don't want to go stand in line to get a license. Yeah. They're, and they're motherfuckers yeah. too. Yeah. Like even as kids. It would just be like a vacation home in the Poconos for one week. You get like a little dingy. Yeah, yeah. And then this guy would stop us and check all of us. You'd had to have yeah. a life preserver around your neck, like a virgin. And yeah. then he'd be like, do the kids have, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then one time this kid, that my buddy didn't, he followed us all the way back to the dock, gave him a ticket, made him get off the boat. And then the rest of us who had him had to, I was like, dude, what are you, what, what it's, it, why it's are like, you fucking water cop? Like, what are you dude, doing right now? Yeah. What's yeah. Gonna cops, boat cops suck so they bad. Do. Yeah. It's also a weird job because I just got back from Houston and in my town, the big thing to do when it gets warm outside is get your motorboat and <laughs> land on the San Jack River and park <laughs> it <laughs> and drink beers. But they have <laughs> cops. San Jack River, yeah. <laughs> that you're just like, what a weird that there, there has to be. Because of all this fun, there has to be law on this yeah. river. And yeah. like, 
who they, gets to have that job. Yeah. And they do fucked up shit. Cause like it's the boat, it's like, it's kind of a free for all out there on the sand jack. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You got the culture, right? You, you have to slow down well, in certain areas. But I, ironically, you sound like a boat cop right now. <laughs> it's a free for all. It sounds like you're catching up with an it old boat cop. It's pretty wild on the sand jack. <laughs> so like, but what they'll do is like, like, you know, there's like, there's, you got to keep your distance from other boats. Like you're only allowed to travel at certain speeds and be a certain distance yeah, from another boat. Cause it's so a bunch of drunk topless chicks bobbing cops, around. Boat cops will like lean into you and be like, you were within the distance. And it's like, well, you got close to me. Yeah, yeah. I was fine. And then, and then you can't argue with you're them. Like, you're like, what drunk. quota do you have to fill? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, is a boat cop the worst cop? You think? I think easily. Is easily. Do you think they're worse than horse cops? Like Not what's beach, that job? Beach cops uh, are pretty fucking. You like in a city horse cop? Or do you mean that there's like cops that police the open range? I don't think I've range. ever seen horse cops in open range. Yeah. <laughs> I've only seen city horse cops, right? Yeah. Really? yeah. yeah. Not I don't think Wild West is happening anymore. No, <laughs> like, no, no. But there's maybe open at range. the saloon. <laughs> <laughs> there's city horse cops to like manage a soon to be, you know, like a park, like a park like, ranger, either a ranger or like if there's going to be a, a a fucking parade or something, you know? Yeah, yeah. so they manage, can see above to, the crowd. Yeah, it's also right? to scare all the people. Going, yeah, take it yeah. easy. Look how big this fuck. You always yeah. forget how big a horse is, dude. Yeah, and you see a horse, you're like, I'm not gonna act up today. And nobody's gonna really kill a horse. No, <laughs> Alpha. You know, you'll people will True. go into a car, True. renegade style. But I think it looks really bad, no matter who you are to yeah. go into a horse. I wouldn't even know how to kill. A who horse. the fuck was it that used to have an Anton? They look so jacked. They yeah, look like it they're does. so jacked. They look like they have armor on. It would be, yeah, it would be highly disturbing. I'm surprised they don't use more horses for riots. I think they do. They do. That's do like the really? only thing. Yeah. They do. do they do it after, you know, in Philly during the Super Bowl? Like, cause you guys get pretty rowdy. Yeah, there's definitely, there's dudes on cops. When the, when we won the Super Bowl, there was cops. On the horses. Fuck? On horses, there's dudes yeah. on cops. There's, <laughs> I guess it's true. Though. Piggyback cops. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. cops. Yeah. <laughs> what'd you call? What'd you call the the lake? It's a bit of a sand jack. It's a free for all. It's a bit of a free for all down there on Broad Street. Dudes <laughs> on cops. I would I would argue uh, doom buggy cops are pretty fucked up too. Yeah, I think oh. you know like, the guys that beach cops that yeah. just want to stop you from drinking. Yeah. Even as an adult, they're like you you can't drink unless yeah, you have yeah, a, yeah. a solo cup. They just did it to me last summer. I was like, what? There's no one around here, dude. Yeah, I'm forty fucking three. I'm I, gonna drink a beer the way I want to drink a beer. I feel like if I was one of those cops, I'd be like the cool cop. Yeah, you think? Yeah, yeah. Unless I'm sure. Do they have quotas? That's that what they I was gotta, thinking. It's probably then like they'd a, be like your quota is so low. It's probably like a state trooper that is like it's cool. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? And then he starts <laughs> yeah. pulling over everybody because he's got to meet a fucking quota. I bet though a couple weeks in the sun in that uniform you start turning. Out. Dude, there was there was Shane was just laying in like the like the uh, what do you call it the splash? <laughs> he's, he's laying like the, the 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 water was like was coming in and just like <laughs> licking his feet, and the guy was like, "Get out!" Oh, the war! Like, well, was that's like, because there was, was a dangerous. fucking hurricane off the coast. Yeah, I know. And but- when he went back in the water, he couldn't get out. <laughs> oh, like a riptide Dude, he was, situation? Yeah, he was riptide. He kept nah. rolling. Did you see him? <laughs> you don't remember this? <laughs> no, no. Oh, my God. He kept I was there rolling for over and over. He was like on hands and knees when he finally I got out. I was there for that part. And then the guy was like, where are you from? And he said, <laughs> New York. And I was like, never say New York. <laughs> uh, Everyone yeah, hate you. People hate you outside yes, of New York. You get pulled over in any other state, but you are not from New York. Yeah. <laughs> You're New not Jersey. from New York. Anywhere else. Yeah. yeah. New Jersey's risky. It's almost too close. Didn't he write, up, write him up? Uh, no. We posted that picture of the cop. Oh, yeah, he, yeah. Didn't he pull his they shit? They had a long conversation. Yeah. Did just, the cop recognize him? No. no this no, is before. No. This is yeah. a little two, bit before. Two years ago. Okay. Yeah. Dude, now the cop would do be that. like, oh, do you know who I am? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think he would have had to take so much gear off. He had like a sun, sh- a sun shirt, a hat, glasses. He'd have to like smudge away the sunscreen. Dude, he's like, that. don't you recognize me? He's like, what? Put his shirt back on. Yeah, yeah. He's just one of those dune buggy kings from Mad Max. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I almost got fucking taken it last summer. I was like, I'm, I'm, I'll fight this guy. Like, I, I will go to hell. I'll go to court to fight this ticket. Yeah, because it's so insane. I was just there with one other person. Mm. This guy comes down, sees us like drinking out of a can. There's only three people on the beach. Yeah, 
And he's like, you're, you you can't drink it's like, out yeah, of a just, can. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Do you, what, do you, what am I supposed to do? I mean, obviously, I got to get, I got to go get a cup now. At least it's a can. It's not glass. That's right. my, I, glass, I would understand because you break that and people get hurt. Yeah. I just don't it's, give a shit. I just don't see why we give a shit if people are drinking on the beach. Well, they drown. I guess so. But like, aren't we adults? <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. If you drown. Yeah. You at know? your own risk. Yes. I mean, pools say swim at your own risk. Why is yeah. the beach any different? Yeah, That's nature. That, I, I, think, rules, I think, yeah. I think like, <laughs> like flight attendants might be up there with some of the worst people on earth. With, uh, so every once Getting in a while, you get case. a good one. Yes. Yeah. And you know what? I because I've been watching a lot of Mind Hunter. I They've know gotten that worse, sociopaths I think. are wannabe cops. Yeah. And I feel like there's no more wannabe cop than a fucking flight attendant. The way they're police, it's like my seat back needs to be up. Why, dude? Yeah, every every, every time, every time they're like, it's like, well, it's safer if we get in an accident. It's like those, yeah. vi- it's like those commercials they had for like. Get under a table if a nuclear bomb goes off. It's like, how do I just die? Yeah, what am I? How yeah. You should is this also see save? Chris at an airport. It's <laughs> fucking. Are you a maniac? He's People are maniacs. An That's insane person. Can we talk yeah. about airport <laughs> get, fashion lately? Uh, too? Dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> I saw it's, a girl wear a thermal underwear onesie to yeah. the airport. It, yeah. I was like, what the fuck are Not those? Irish, though, I imagine, right? No. Yeah. no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> no, Chris is narrow it down. Chris yeah, is nuts you, from. What this. are you like flying? Uh, what do you mean? I, I mean Delta. <laughs> <laughs> No, no regular, way. not what? first class. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, no. But you think he was the pilot? Yeah. The way he, like, dude, uh, Chris, you can jump in whenever you want. Oh, but dude. and you know this, when he gets there, he is just like. It's it's he's the only person in the entire airport. Okay. If people are waiting, he'll go. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he'll go right in front of you, and then that person will have to be like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> and he'll go, uh, and he'll ignore it, still get in front of him, and just he's on autopilot. Yeah, yeah. Dude, we were at the we it's were at like, the bar. Like, uh, we were at the bar at uh, two day, two days ago. On the yeah. way home from Austin, we're in the Delta Sky Lounge. They don't have the food out because they're re- replenishing it. Four times in a row, he goes. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Yelling Dude. about free cheese. That was that was a long turnaround. <laughs> it My was ten cheeses. minutes. No, it wasn't. You screamed was, four times. It was thirty minutes at you least. You were three double free it fucking was, bourbons. That sign was up uh, before you even got there. You don't what even know how is long that going was. On? It was so it, I was. <laughs> How long does it take to replenish the buffet? And yeah. then he goes, as soon as they call first class, he's not first class. He goes, I'm out. And he goes right in line. Yeah, yeah I go I go in first class yeah. every time. Because he's really? so crazy you're looking. you're main cabin one or yes. something? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty they don't, bald. They don't Joe would be the- really livid with you. Yes. <laughs> why? Yeah. yeah exactly why? why? I, I don't know. I, I guess I get annoyed with that behavior too, but I don't voice it. I'm like, I'm, well, I'm a rural person. Like, I get annoyed when people... When the airplane lands and it gets to the terminal and then people from the back row kind of run Let's all the way go. to the front. That's, yeah. that's fucked up. That's fucked it's up. row you're by doing. row by that, row I by don't row. Do that. That's exactly what you're doing. You're taking someone's bag space. I don't do that. I don't do that. But people like you <laughs> <laughs> have voiced this concern and people have heard it. And now they've taken it to the extreme where the wave of people getting up is coming towards you and they're not getting up. Yeah. And they need to get their bag because they're weak and it weighs twice as much as they do. And it's just like, get up out of your seat, establish position in the aisle. Because that's the other thing. That's why some people can bomb up from the back because no one's boxing them out. (laughs) If if you're in the aisle row, step up and close the gate. Yeah. Sometimes you can't because the people from the back have bombed all no, over the no, front. There's no. no way to clean Unless your you thing. Have, like if you watch hockey, ever yeah, you're prime for a hip check. <laughs> you, just, somebody, you just slide your ass out and they'll go flying. Somebody recently did that. This was not recently. It was probably like a year and a half ago. And they got to like right in front of me. Because this is as soon as it was like click, click. And they only had like a, a fucking backpack. And they ran up like eight rows. Yeah. And stopped right here. And I was like, do you have a connecting flight? And he was like, what? I was like, do you have a connecting flight? And he says, no. And I said, well, then why don't you go back to line? Which is the f- first fucking time here. Yeah. Is it, are you new? And then you shame him. And then he just like wags his tail all the way, go back. And yeah. somebody has to stick up for, for that fucking behavior. 
Yeah, yes. you gotta bust. You know, yeah, you gotta, you I, gotta I stand. I stand with you on that. I stand with you. I lock arms with you but on like, that. Where? But you know what I like? You yeah. know what I like? I don't, I, 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 dude, I, I also I'm a, I'm a I'm a bit of a rule follower. I just don't. You're like, a horse cop when it comes to that dude, rule. I, I just don't like people respecting. It's like have a sense of urgency through the yes. through like if you unpack Escalator. your bag in a timely manner. First of all, I. I I know what you're going to get this into next. This goes so deep. This goes so deep. <laughs> I'm into Putting it. your let's, shoes and get your get shit back it. on. What? Yes. Yeah. Getting your shit back on drives me nuts. <laughs> yes. That, that's doing that slowly by like the, the, the first stall. Also, all the new technology they brought to the baggage check stuff is absolute dog shit. Oh, yeah. That was, whole thing where they like, you got to slide your tray on and it sucks it up. It's like now, now my bags are completely separated. Yeah. It's just, like, they've, you can never, it doesn't like, it's not, it, it slows everyone down because like the three stalls will be open and this, and someone will be here and they'll just sit there and everyone will wait for this person to finish I, before stepping I'm up. I'm with you on this and one. I, so yeah. I cut. Is that a crime? <laughs> it's Dude, like, you, if I'm in traffic, I got to wait for someone else to merge who's just stopped Do you know traffic? what I really no, enjoy? I'm yeah. I, I really enjoy the ticketing agent prior to getting on the flight, finding out someone like you has butt it. Oh, and I, then it goes, oh, no, no, no. We're, we're calling main cabin one, your main cabin three. Yeah, and then yeah, they have yeah. to go, oh, sorry. I didn't notice it. Old people do the same shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, when yeah. they steal mustard. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they're like, I didn't know it was in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought I put it in my bag. Yeah. He's like, no, 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 you're paying for the mustard. <laughs> yeah, no, I got, I got, I got clipped once and I kind of stopped doing it. <laughs> no, you did it. Yeah. You did it two days ago. Did I do it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Let it rip. <laughs> well, good host. <laughs> A good host is ready when company drops by. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta is that be the, part of the ad reader? Is that just something you want to get off your chest? You'd, th you'd think I'd say yeah. something like that because I probably has. Okay. Be the best host on the block and always have a freeze pipe ready to go. Freeze pipe, eliminate the harsh smoke and coughing attacks that normally come with the cannabis smoking. Freeze pipe's unique line of freezable glass. You freeze these motherfuckers. Yeah, oh, so it gets nice and cool. Freeze mm. pipe. <laughs> Freezable glass pieces remove chest and throat burn by cooling smoke by over 300 degrees. Freeze pipes... Blubbers and hand pipes are twice as smooth. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's what that thing was. That's what that liquid was yes. in there with the bubble. Yeah. Ooh, that's a blubber? They're yeah, twice as yeah. smooth and half the price of those other guys' bombs. Because you needed room for the ice to explode. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. The secret is the freezable glycerin chamber mm. that come on every piece. Just pop it in the freezer for one hour and smoke passes through. It's cooled for an easy on the lungs toke. So for a premium smoking experience at everyday great prices and free shipping, visit thefreezepipe.com and use code STUFF, S-T-U-F-F, -F, for 10% off your next order. Shop today. Your throat and your lungs will thank you. Fuck yeah. You blubber. You, you blubbers and j jackers. Uh, Dude, those went fast. I put them on fucking line because I, I don't smoke weed. Yeah. I got like 40 fucking messages yeah. in an hour. Yeah. I dropped off one single toke. Somebody took the big boy. Jeez. Yeah. Bartenders? Uh, yeah, one's a bartender. <laughs> yeah, I only know like eight people. <laughs> <I know>. That's <laughs> about seven more than me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> seven bartenders. <laughs> one, one crossing guard. <laughs> yeah. I'll get that off your hands, man. All right. Hello Fresh, baby. With Hello Fresh, you get farm fresh pre portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on Hello Fresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's. Number one meal kit. Get HelloFresh, skip the extra trip to the grocery store, the score, and long checkout line. Spend more time doing the things you love with delicious chef crafted recipes delivered to your doorstep. I want to see you get down on a HelloFresh. I want to see what you add to it. Uh, yeah. I've done a lot of HelloFresh. Yeah. yeah. And I love it. Tastes great. Well, we're just waiting as, on them. Just the kit tastes good. We're waiting for them to send us it. Yeah, yeah. So what we could do is, if they send us two of the same, you could read the directions, go by the directions. Yeah. I'll throw those directions off the fucking Brooklyn Bridge. And you'll just And I'll float by the seat of my pants. Yeah. I'll elevate it. Dude, I would like to see that. Yeah. I would make like it a to look see at that dish. a lot. Yeah. Uh, HelloFresh now has 40 weekly recipes to choose from, so you can say bye-bye to your recipe <laughs> rut and Please treat don't yourself do that again, and your dude. family <laughs> to exciting new... That, why? I thought you'd like that. Hey, bye-bye. <laughs> 
do like uh, your recipe and treat yourself and your family to exciting new flavors every fucking week. Mm. I don't know if I should have said the F word during the ad. Maybe bleep that. Every week. Um, yeah. I, I, okay. Um, go to HelloFresh.com slash Stuff Island 65 and use Stuff Island 65 for 65% off mm. plus free shipping. Mm. Um, I was wondering what that was for. HelloFresh.com slash Stuff Island 65 and get 65% off plus free shipping. I thought it was going to be as useless yeah. as a fucking Yahoo handle or no. maybe your handle. Do you know Dude, his email? Get on this fast because the last one was 21 free meals or something like that. Yeah. or something crazy. Yeah. Now we got 65% off. It's nice. You know Chris's email is I mean, a I do Chris know what O'Connor. it is. Does he want it to be on the ad though? No. Oh <laughs> shit. Dude, two I beers, do find his email two heavies, annoying. Two heavies and you're gone. <laughs> you think I'm gone? It's just rage and leech, leaking secrets. <laughs> I was no, it's the first phase. Oh. It's the first phase. Are you done? Uh yeah. Okay. Because you, you were a sky pirate. Oh, yeah, you yeah, went yeah, on first so class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can TSA in every city? Oh, no, I timed that right. Yeah. Oh, so I timed you were, that you right. first sky pirate. You see the last first class person going on and you know you're next. Yeah. So I just yes. jump right in. I don't wait yeah. for the rest you're of the, the group to rush in. Yeah, there's yeah. a gradient <laughs> coming <laughs> in. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I saw all fucking. I you got to jump in there. Yeah, there's a little mixed. It's, it's brackish the water. It's the zipper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, 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 yeah. a little salty. <laughs> a little fresh. <laughs> yeah. It's the East River. It's, dude, there, there's a, there was a viral tweet that said, before you get serious in a relationship, you have to see that person behave in you an do. airport. You do. Yeah. You, and it's true. Yeah. Tempers come out. Or you really do see people's true behavior when they're, um, who they really are when you're traveling. Right. And I before guess. that, you may never have a scenario where, you know, you have, you have wars with different people, right? You got wars with your Uber driver. You got wars with traffic. You got wars with the playing time, delays maybe, dinner prices, fucking getting a beer or not. Yeah. You're, these are first for a relationship yeah. if you're like month three, month six. You're yeah. Like, let's go on a trip to fucking, let's go to Maui for a week. Yeah. <laughs> By the time you're done, you first of all, you get enough FaceTime. It's a brilliant, it's a brilliant move going on a vacation early in a, in a relationship. Yeah. Yes, yes. You get an idea of how bad the sex is or will be. <laughs> w- yeah. What races they hate. <laughs> <laughs> if they wear a onesie to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. You'll find out everything. Holy shit. Yeah. Their bathroom Somebody's habits. an anti-Semite. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Although that one's hard not to notice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, yeah. they're moving. They're moving. It's big families. Right. Yeah. 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 It's big Lots families. of strollers. Yeah. Well, if she asks, are there any Jews in Maui? You know, right off yeah. the bat, there's going to be a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is a fucking brilliant it's scheme though, dude. Yeah. Well, Joe was really nice. And then when we went traveling, that's, he started hitting me. And then no. I, yeah, <laughs> I've never seen that, but I would love to just spread domestic abuse. That, that's Dude. what Joe yeah. does. <laughs> no, but I mean, like, if you went, if you want to, what, like, what kind of thing, like, wouldn't it bother you more the person who's just like they've they're wearing like lace up boots to the airport? Oh, that's insane! And their <sighs> luggage is a mess. Their laptop is in there somewhere. They don't know how to. Yeah. They don't have easy access. If for to some it. reason you have to wear Timberlands, you gotta you gotta have you gotta go to the airport unlaced Lucy like Lucy. Daddy yes. Lucy in the fuck, Go- yeah, yeah. Lucy Goosey like the nineties. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, don't wear them like I wear them. Yeah, <laughs> that's worse than me. Right, I just want to get through there. Yeah, I well, I always make sure I wear slip on shoes. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then pretty much like a pajama, like a sweatpants. Yeah, sweatpants, yeah. sweatshirt. Yeah. Some lady slippers. don't wear a zipper because they make, they, that's a jacket. And then you got to take yeah. it off. So you got to take it off. Yes. So you got to wear a sweater or yeah. jacket with no zipper I on I got it. fucking manhandled the last time. And if you're Austin. going into the security line, like right before you get to the roped off area and you see someone with a stroller, Hustle I, up. Hustle yeah. up. Yeah. Hustle yeah. up. Yeah. We don't have time for that thing yeah. to get collapsed yeah. and opened again. There was a pack of Hasidics in front of me and they they couldn't get this. <laughs> they couldn't control this. Dude, uh, yeah. That's what they're Camera called, noise. right? Yeah, yeah. It's a flock of geese, a pack of Hasidics. <laughs> yeah. Dude. No, so they couldn't get this one kid. He was like off his fucking leash and they had the... <laughs> 
<laughs> they had to get him his like passport ID. Yeah, yeah. And they wouldn't, they couldn't get fucking Fester to turn around because <clears throat> he was like watching <laughs> pigeons out the window, and they're like Fester, and I was like Jesus Christ, <clears throat> grab number seven and tell him to look at the fucking lady so I can get on my flight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I did butt in front of them. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, but it's like trying to get him into a, a water park entrance. They don't. <laughs> yeah, they're I all know. over, but bopping around. I know. If people are confused or lost, I mean, the number one thing, the <laughs> number one thing that will light my fucking fuse is someone asking the person who checks your ID a question. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's you not have the nothing guy. to talk about. He's, you have nothing. Yes. Yeah, he's not the he guy. Can't help you. He's not he's a kiosk. Got no information. Yeah. Yes. No. <laughs> Move it along. Yeah. It's like asking a toll booth operator how to get to fucking Denver when you're in Philly. They're like, dude, yeah, I, yeah. I make $4 an hour. Yeah. Where's a yeah. good place to eat around yeah. here? <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. Also, it's like, that's your time to lose. Yeah. You being lost in the airport yeah, yeah. is your time yeah. drain. Yeah. I don't make me suffer through it. Oh, and then you get to the hotel and he he, he jumps up another oh notch. Oh my God, yeah, Checking yeah. Checking into hotels. a hotel with him. What do you get? Do you get mad when they go through the spiel? Yes. The spiel. You're like, I know where the pool is. We'll yeah. figure out where the pool yes. is. The yes. gym is shit. Yes. I don't go in yes. there. Yeah. If anyone has ever asked you, have you ever been here before? I don't care where the fuck it is. It could be the North Pole. Like, yes. Yeah. I've been yes. here before. Whether it's a restaurant a hotel, just say yes. Of course I've been here. I know how yeah. it works. I hit a button, go up into a fucking a bedroom. I sleep, come back down. I go out yes. the exit door. And That's how it fail. fucking works. And it's like, I just got off a plane. Look, I, there's there's a 95% chance that I have to take the biggest piss or shit in my life. Yeah, absolutely. While you're yeah. going, while you're going yeah. through this except, except when the Skyline just did. Yeah, yeah. What is going on? And it's like, it's a reservation you made weeks ago and they're clicking around. Yeah. What's the, it's like, what, was it on. another name? Yeah. yeah. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah or it's like, just, what, I, what are you looking for? Yeah. What are you typing? I got a ticket change the other day at the airport too. And this lady was just typing in full. Yeah. Full sentences of stuff. I feel like this. <laughs> what could, what, this is two buttons. Also, this is an SNL sketch from like 1990. Sure. And they still haven't figured it no, the Yeah. Out. You're like. Yeah, you'll just say your name and it's like 20 minutes of typing. What are you doing? How many windows are you in right now? It's kind of like when you're at the dentist. This is why I always want a mirror above the dentist because it's like sometimes they're working on something. Like they like grind a bunch of your tooth away. Yeah. And you're like, all right, there went the tooth. Now they're going to put something on that. But then they grab like another tool. Mm -hmm. They start grinding away more. And you're like, what? Yeah. Well, what's happening? What, what stage you of this are we at? <laughs> Little I mean? critter teeth. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, all right, you're all done. <laughs> <laughs> then they grab like that that blue light and they're like hitting it with stuff. You're just like, what? Yeah. Can I see? Can I see? <laughs> I feel like I don't my yeah, but how annoying though that you you want to see and then you're chiming in while they're doing your teeth. Yeah. Well, it would help. <laughs> like you know more than what they are. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like the dude didn't spend 10 years in school. No, 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 no. He got to the blue light chapter. He knows what the fuck he's well, doing. Just gonna... Can you take a little more off the top of my teeth? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I paid for more. Oh, yeah. I paid for I'm more. Normally a two. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Go wider. Yeah. Just treat it like a bad haircut. Oh, fuck. I actually had a mirror. I think I had a mirror in my last dentist. Really? Yeah, I watched, I watched the whole thing. That's incredible. I think they don't do that because most people are like skeeved out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I get anxiety about, I don't know what stage of the process we're are in. Are you talking about root canals? Any any type of dental work. I want to see the whole thing. Because mm. then I can replicate it too at home. Oh, do it on your own? What are you, yeah. fucking Hanks on Castaway? <laughs> what would you do? No, yeah, I want to see how they're scraping with those tools. I want to see how they're scraping with those tools. Oh, I got one of those. I bought one of those. No, I know. Yeah. Have you been using it? No, no. I used to I used to do it at home with sewing needles. Yeah. So, oh, I know what you mean. Oh my the little God. curve yeah, hook the thing yeah, that yeah, goes yeah, behind. That's for cleaning. Yeah. yeah, that's for cleaning. But you I know, know what you mean. You get yeah. I had my teeth sawed down because I had, these are fake. Yeah, I had yeah. a couple. So you get like tooth dust all over your face. <laughs> yeah, and it yeah, smells yeah. so bad. Oh my God. <laughs> it smells like burning hair. Yeah. yeah. It's oh. so bad. That's yeah. also an unsettling feeling. It's like we really are made out of all the same shit. Well, it's the fucking the root canal. They <laughs> my hair saw like into the, smell the, the actual same when they burn. The actual root of each, yeah, like the pinhole saw, and then they take that burning thing and they just burn away the nerve. Yikes! Oh, I've and never gotten a root canal before. Filled up yeah, with I mean, a rubber tube. No, I have good dental hygiene. Holy shit! 
I've gotten, I've, <laughs> got, one? I've gotten the crown. I've gotten the crown thing done. Yeah. And that was That'll like, turn into a root canal. Your dentist fucked up. It's what? all a scam. I believe, I believe my I father do. said this. I do believe. He's never I had would, a cavity. I do believe that I, this might be really weird, but I do, especially in New York because of rent so high. Yeah. I feel, I really do feel like some dentists are scammers here. Yeah. I've heard one. Tom Segura had a story. He worked on the Swan way back in the day or whatever as like an intern. Movie? No. Remember that makeover show that was yeah, like, yeah. you take the ugliest people and put them in like 13 weeks of the most <laughs> intense <laughs> plastic surgery of oh, their life God. to make them beautiful. It's so insane that That's we went disgusting. to that. But there was a dental guy that was like, if you get, I'll give you guys all um, veneers, something like in that. If you guys come in, I'll give you all like a clean checkup or whatever. And he took the offer and then they said he had like 20 cavities. But you find out cavities, they'll say they're cavities, but they're just light brown dots that yes. could potentially, but most yes. likely yes. not. Yes. And then they yes. make it don't seem like, them. don't touch them. Once you touch them, they, cr they make a crack where bacteria can get and in, seep into yep. there. Then you fucking yep. infect the root. Yeah. Yep. Dude, this is true. My friend did the same exact thing. Yeah. They went into one dentist. And she didn't have any feelings. I think it was, was it my girl? I don't know. Uh, it said 13. Yeah. You have 13 cavities. An insane and she was amount. Like, what? Yeah. Went to a separate dentist and she's like, your teeth are great. Your yeah. teeth are fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that also whole grayscale <clears throat> system, just like what you were saying with the fucking, yeah. it hasn't upgraded to the point where like they can identify a dark gray area and just be like, that's cavity. Or that's could cavity. Be, that yeah. could be. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, no, no, no. Give me a scan. Yeah. Yes. You know, we have 3D scans that make us regular people on video games. Yes. Show me what the fucking tooth looks like. Yeah. There's no like way that's real. Yeah. 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 And, and there's like people have different, their enamels are different strengths. Yes. You know what I mean? It'd be like looking at a guy with tiny calves and be like, he can't jump. It's like, <laughs> have you seen me jump? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some of those guys can jump really yeah, fucking high. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Toe string. Yeah. yeah. It's like a fucking they auto never mechanic. Test, it's like test it with something. Auto mechanics too. You always get a second opinion unless yeah. this guy's been in your family for years. Yeah. yeah. Like we had Todd. Yeah. Once my dad had Todd, if my dad accepts, it's like taking your dad to get a new car. Yeah. He'll talk that guy down out of like the real, the, the you know, the fake price. Yeah. Once you get a guy in your family, if it's a dentist that's in your family, he's not going to fuck you over. If you go to a strange dentist when you move, oh, yeah. get a second opinion. That's what I felt like that here because Joe kept going and having the most dental work I've ever known anybody to have <laughs> that I was. And Joe has really good dental hygiene that I yeah. thought this was insane yeah. because I just I don't know. I just feel like you you cannot just have four cat like that many cavities. Yeah. When you brush and floss every single yeah. day. Yeah. 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 And now you're fucked. And as soon as they crack that tooth, they're fucked. Dude. It <laughs> yeah, might yeah. not be tomorrow. It might not be a it's year. It's breaking the seal. In four yeah. years, you're going to have a little yeah. little slight pain. That's going to become a sharp pain. You're going to have a, a clove-soaked Q-tip stuck in your tooth until the sun comes up to go to a doctor. And it's hell. Dude, I hope, I hope they can turn us just into bionic people. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> just take them all out, replace them with iron or well, something. Well, that's what I don't they're know, doing whatever you, now. Well, well, yeah. we're have not you gonna, heard the like when- people get veneers, how damaging that is. And they never tell you the ordeal with that is. No, no. Once you get it done, your all your teeth get shaved, shaved down to, to critter teeth, yes. which is really bad for your jaw structure. Yeah, yes. Then those um, veneers, they're, they're just fake teeth. So you're going to get them like, dirty all the time. Dude, this is disgusting and it's so true. And you have what? to replace them every 10 years and it's not, it's Ten like $20,000 fucking... yes. every time you do that. Dude, what? You ever yeah. smell the and breath of get... someone with one fake tooth? No. <laughs> I have two. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Don't you have fake teeth? You have, you have like- No, the... no. That you never got... These are I mean, porcelain, a fake but it's not- oh, a... I have like a cap. Yeah. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, like, like oh, truly fake, fake teeth because one, out, yeah. one dies. Yes. Or like has a fucked up root. Yeah. You know, we used to call this one girl from Delco the original Bluetooth because she had one, <laughs> one tooth that just died and it had like a lavender color to it. Oh my God. Yeah. Bad breath. Well, your teeth are rotting in your fucking mouth. Yeah. You well, get veneers. It's the I think it's the jaw all your bone that starts to rot once the root comes out. Once the. Yeah. Well, it's, all, it's all the structural damage that yeah. you've done. It's all. But that's, it's so because every celebrity has those done now. And I'm like, that is so insane Ugh. to do. Yeah. And they always make the wrong fucking color choice. You know what I mean? It's too. 
It's bright, bright white. It's yeah, yeah. Extreme. And they're playing homeless people. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, there's no fucking way yeah. that you'd have this amazing smile yeah. Yeah. 20 years on the street. Uh, yeah. It's always yeah. some old drug addict from fucking MTV and with game show host teeth. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yes. Steve O. Steve O's like got one big tooth. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah it's yeah, like a fucking yeah. Mitch Hedberg joke. Yeah. Yeah. Just one big dinosaur <laughs> tooth. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, it's like that joke about making like a birthday card where you draw the B too big first, and then all the other letters have to be tiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have the Y's underneath the A. They put all the other ones in, and they're like, oh, shit. They're so tiny in the back. Dude, that would be sick. To get veneers, but it's just a megalosaurus fucking shoehorn. I don't even know if it's a real dinosaur. Yeah, one big shoehorn. Yeah, yeah. horseshoe. Oh, it's gnarly. No, but it's fucking like Barney's tooth. It's not just the, the the decaying shit. It's like just food, you know, like Stuck old in the veneers. food. Yeah, well, that's what. What are those Komodo dragons? They're not poisonous by nature. It's, it's because the bacteria, they, in, the the bacteria in the mouth that yeah. they. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's what uh, veneers are. Did you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tom Cruise is a Komodo yeah. dragon. That's a yeah. sick name for if you a, bite a, a water buffalo. It'll die like ten days later. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really great rumor to start. <laughs> That's you, like a Chuck Norris thing. Come to Komodo's dentistry and you just yeah. you bite a fucking Booker in the neck. She slowly decays. <laughs> There is a video on Twitter that just went viral where it shows a Komodo's bite to like a raw piece of meat. Yeah. And then it just complete implodes because oh, of the yeah, bacteria yeah, yeah, just yeah. destroying it. Like, yes. You know, like those little yeah, fucking, there's, there's snake, uh, 4th of July things where you light it and it's like, there's footage of like one, one Komodo will bite. No joke. A water Buffalo. And then they'll all just like wait. follow it around for a while. Oh my God. Just wait for it to fall over. Remember when Sharon Stone's boyfriend got bitten? What? By a what? Komodo dragon. You don't remember Who's this? Sharon Stone's boyfriend. This was 20 years ago. Yeah. I forget, he was like a, Could a, be one a, of a thousand owner guys. of a newspaper, I think. He, but mm. I don't know. But it's just funny to be like, my boyfriend got bitten by a Komodo dragon. <laughs> <laughs> That's how fucking oh, stupid dude, we he is. lost him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just the owners of other newspapers falling around slowly waiting for him to die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got to start calling Jews Komodos. <laughs> I like I the idea. I'm like, have, have, have we started recording? Yeah, we started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be great. We just want to get yeah, to know yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're like, I have a spot, dude. Yeah, I got to get the yeah, fuck yeah. out of here. We can record. Yeah, soon. we usually we usually don't tell anybody. We just go. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. But then you get, we do. Yeah, tell us about your pod. We should do this because we always forget that too. We get in the normal oh, yeah. routine. Yeah, it's a, we gotta it's, have Katie on as well. Oh, it's Lady Journey podcast, and we just talk about shit that basically, you know, when you're like, I'm going to start doing this, and then you abandon it a week later. Yes, a week. You get yeah. to a week. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, a fucking that's, hero, dude. Yeah, yeah. We're I gotta like, start listening to this podcast. Yeah, <laughs> some good advice. On this yeah, yeah, every other day, I shit my pants because I'm like, I'll get yeah. to it in an hour. <laughs> Yeah, if I only start taking these athletic greens now, yes. then but that's then you're like, one. then you just stop three days later. But you've told everyone that's what you're doing. Very embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. Very embarrassing. Yeah. It I, is. I stopped doing <clears throat> stuff like that. This is well, because you start hoping that by telling other people you'll have accountability. Like they, like yourself they yeah. give yeah. a yeah. shit. Yeah. 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 Also, like, please shut the fuck up. Please yeah. shut the fuck up. It's like the first quarter of, of every year gym guy or girl. Yeah. You know what I mean? Explosive in January. And yes. in February, they're like, uh, it's a little work. It's a and lot. Then by March, fucking later, dude. Yeah. yeah. March, I'm looking forward to the next two weeks at New York Sports Club. Poof, blossoms again. Yeah, it's like spring. Yes. All the yes. flowers coming up from the roots. Yeah. yeah. All these people are dead to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, great. yeah. I get all my machines back. St- <laughs> Doesn't smell like fucking Kool-Aid packets. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you start in January and then you, you like kind of like, you kind of get back in shape and then you're like, well, I was doing this to get in shape for summer. Yeah. Yeah. If I can get in shape this fast. Oh yeah. Just start oh until- well, they have no idea yeah, what it yeah. takes. I've never stuck to anything. <laughs> Yeah. And I've also never seen results. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like I've <laughs> never seen results in my entire life. Yeah. Yeah. I'm never like, yeah, I'm on the right track. It takes <laughs> it takes a lot of work. It takes three months at least to see anything. Still. Anything. Were you talking about working out or just anything? Like oh, working out, working hard. Yeah, yeah. I was working yeah. hard on that. Learning, learning something. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. 
Every trying s- to read. Yes. Yeah. I've been doing that for 30 fucking years. Yeah. Taking a oh, book and yeah. be like, I'm going to finish this book. I've been carrying the <laughs> same book. And I always joke, I got a new book to carry around for a year. Yeah. That one. <laughs> That's always, and, and I still do it and I still have hope. But I remember starting every school year being like, this is going to be my fucking year. Yep. I'm really going to buckle down. Then by like Thanksgiving, you're like, what do they want from us? Yeah. <laughs> I have to have a life. Yes. yes. <laughs> you can tell yeah. by summer, like summer reading is, is a huge indicator of your future yeah. as a reader. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like if you're having trouble reading All Quiet on the Western Front as a 15 year old, which you should, because it's not a book you should be reading. Yeah. But if you don't get through that in three months. Yeah. You're never going to be a reader for the rest of your life. You I already I mean? knew that yeah. when I was in second grade. It was a running joke in my family that this one's just not a reader. Yeah. 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 So the, the, your parents should be able to identify you immediately. But yeah. now they don't know because you you can fake it on the internet. You could be like, well, I'm on page, you know, virtual yeah. page Wikipedia 38. And all yeah. that. Yeah. I just get a physical book. You're like, now I we got tell chat. you. Yeah. 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 What yeah. is it? GP? Chat GPT. Yeah, yeah, that you can just figure out this your kid book reports. It's all over. Yeah, it's yeah. wild. It's it is it's wild. It's, so wait, what is this again? I cause he, he told me once. It's like just an AI that you can have like a conversation with and you can ask it to like tell you about subjects and it will like Oh, so this is cliff notes for reading a book? <clears throat> but you Yeah, but also- you could be like, Can you write me a book report and I need it to have this theme and this theme and discuss yes. this and it will do it really what? close to can you uh, it'll give you probably a B paper. Can you reverse track yeah. it the way teachers used to for um like Annotation. copying words, plagiarizing, plagiarizing, like a whole paragraph. But it's, that's you know the what thing I mean? is, it's, yes. it's all, it's not plagiarized. It's yeah, all, but do they store what they produce? Okay, oh, no, okay. I, don't, I don't know. Probably because probably everything's a to. screenshot and on the internet anyway. It's kept somewhere. Probably. Yeah. So the teacher must have a reverse search going. Did you write this paper? But or if did you this chat, you, you can do, do you can do you funny. Really should, yeah, but you can, you can do, probably put it off at the teacher sent by chain, you know, asking it different questions like i just feel like you're probably not gonna get the same response if you kept they wouldn't know what sentences you put in yeah to get what you needed but even if we i'm even in college they could determine you can ask if you do one one paragraph they could reverse yeah search, yeah yeah let alone yeah, yeah. yeah fucking 12 pages yeah they could like search some type of art and that's considered like that. plagiarism and then they they know if you copied a whole paragraph you probably didn't do the other fucking 30 right, paragraphs right. But dude, you can get it to write, you can get it to write, like easily write like SNL quality parodies. Yeah. Like scripts of just like movies and stuff. You can like ask it to write you a script like Christopher Nolan or Charlie. It writes scripts? Yes. Yeah. And it'll write you a script and it's funny. It's like funny because it's, it's, you know, it's It's distilling these people into their, like the purest form. You know what I mean? It's like, we go split screen. (laughs) 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 It's 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 so funny. It's, it's like, (laughs) if you give it a theme and like a famous movie writer, it'll write you a script that is like, no joke. A, that you take right on to SNL. Based on his And I mean that disparaging. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's, I did it recently for a joke because I need, I wanted to put into a oh, so um, <laughs> little screenplay that I was trying to write. And then um, I was like stuck on it. And I was like, I need it to have this premise and this and this kind of punchline. And it did something. And I was like, that's actually not so bad. And I kind of worked around that. But I was like, that way I didn't have to get stuck on or watching out. And nor did I want to take anyone's bit. Yeah. So I just wanted it in that a very loose concept of a bit without worrying about it yeah, too yeah, much. Yeah. And it yeah. did the job. Yeah. Yeah. You can be like, write a joke in the style of Bill Burr about this. Really? And it'll give you like the shittiest version <laughs> <Yeah>. of that. <laughs> it's so funny. But then you're just reading it it's, in his voice anyway. No, it you went, read it in his voice, but it's so funny. It's like, we're going to fucking talk about fucking existentialism. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, you're just, and you're just like, it's yeah. so funny. You're like, oh, is she a girl? Is yeah. she? <laughs> I asked him to write me a joke in the style of Louis C.K. about something, and it was like, that's inappropriate. I cannot do that. Really? For real? Yes. You can get canceled yes. on Chad GP? But it would do George Carlin. It would do Bill Burr. It would do- Wow. Like, yeah. Did you try Shane? No. Oh. No. Do you think how- But somebody writes the programming for that, so that must have been somebody's Some personal- Some yeah. yeah. Somebody at Comedy Central. Comedy Central exec. 
Yeah. 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 There's, there's someone in Dry there on. that's like flagging because they've done, they've, this was like a thing that got really popular on like conservative Twitters. They'd be like, write me a poem about Joe Biden. They'd be like, Joe the hero. <laughs> so it would be like a whole like really like loving poem about Joe Biden. They'd be like, write me a poem about Donald Trump. And they'd be like, I cannot do that. Oh He's my a controversial God. figure. And it's that's so weird. So then it is control. <laughs> yeah. So, Even it is, it's, so it's not fully. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's an algorithm control. basically. But, but apparently you can kind of hack it because it's conversational. It like learns things. So if you, if there's, there's ways that you can talk to it about itself to get it around. Well, those. you can probably use vocab like Donald Trump like, right? I mean, kind of like on TikTok, how you can't say suicide. So now we're saying unalive. What? <laughs> Wait, you know, it's you can't just say suicide on TikTok. I don't know why. And it's so childish to me because you're like, well, that's still just unalive is dead. Yeah, yeah you're like, yeah. well, he unalived a- himself. That you, that's what you have to say now. Uh, get the fuck out of here. That almost sounds like more permanent. But that that's. But I feel death. like yes. I don't know <laughs> why they think that, but I think it's due to the TikTok algorithm because I guess they don't want to romanticize about suicide. So you just figure out different ways of saying it. Like if like the people will say white people and it'll be W H Y T E. And yeah. that's the way it doesn't end up being like, Oh, that's why they do that. Shit. Yes. Or like so the typing speech. they do on the, yeah. so it's a way to bypass that. I feel like in chat G with the, if some, whoever's programming, you just have to use a different kind oh, of so language. F C U K. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we're not that famous. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah, but you you don't want to get damn komodos are you, after you, you, <laughs> you don't want to get involved in that, dude. Once you start putting hyphens in your curse words, yeah, and bleeping shit out, that's too much. Yeah, you've you, you lose something. Also, who cares? We're all gonna kill ourselves. <laughs> what, We're all gonna <laughs> undead <laughs> ourselves. Yeah, yeah, unalive. <laughs> unalive is so like unalive. that's like not even nobody remember, yeah. remembers them. That's what unalive sounds Maybe. like. But Their spirit doesn't hang on. Like they're no longer. Yeah. yeah they, they're not even in the culture. At least say something like whoopsie or something. Like yeah. he whoopsie yeah. themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? He slipped yeah. on a banana. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Himself. Yeah. yeah. Well, unalive. Like, you can't say porn on TikTok. So people have been saying corn and then sex is S-E-G-G-S. So these Dude, things, this is so language just changes, yeah, but it's yeah. the same thing yeah. so gya yeah you're just gonna wind yeah. up saying to your so friends G-A-Y. that you're like yeah yeah i bet i bet also, they've these already kids are, they, these fucking 13 year olds have like only fans like yes they grew up in porn yeah yeah like yeah. stop with that bullshit yeah i bet i bet they've already bought the corn hub domain oh yeah corn hub <laughs> yeah, yeah. corn hub yeah. well that's like when that song came out that little kid singing about how much he loves corn I kept seeing it referenced on TikTok. I actually thought they were singing about porn. And then when I went to see the original video, I was like, oh, no, they're, he's actually just singing about corn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just and his love corn. for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just it's some so fat weird. kid from Wisconsin? What is yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, it's, is it it's Iowa? so catchy. Have you? It's, no. Can you um, sing? Are you guys bars? on? T- you're not on TikTok. No, I'm 43 oh, years old. I, I'm 44, and I. <laughs> <laughs> you look great. I, I don't. I, I love it, but it does suck your life away, and I think it, it would be healthier for me to be a drug addict than on TikTok. Yeah. 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 I dude, mean, I, I had a buddy. I had a buddy who bought a stand and a little arm that. Holds his phone over his bed. <laughs> oh my god! Over so his he, bed. Yeah, so he doesn't have to like hold his phone and look at it anymore. He's just that's on, the and he, saddest and has, thing and he's I've got a ever little, heard. Oh my he's got god. a little. He's got a little ring <laughs> that changes that will like swipe. <laughs> Shut the dude, fuck up! He was telling me this, and it was dude. How old I is this like, dude? <laughs> it reminds like, me of the character in Seven. I was gonna say, yeah, he's, like, like, yeah. he's been kind of lightly dead for yeah, if this guy, no, if this guy, year. No, if this guy doesn't unalive himself. That is like creepy as fuck. Yeah, just to watch TikTok, he's got a ring. <laughs> dude, it's just you know how we all do lay in bed and look at our fucking yeah, phones, sometimes and then my, you get like a shoulder, yeah. you get like a nerve injury in your <laughs> shoulder. Your for wrist six hurts. Months. Yeah, yeah. yeah, dude, I think that's why I have a shoulder injury from quarantine. I wouldn't doubt it. Leaning like this. I do. I yeah. quarantine. Yes. Getting pickles. Yes. Yeah. Watching movies yeah. for six hours. So a day. he told yeah. me about it, and I was like, "Dude, stop!" But also, 
what's the link to that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, it comes with a, a ring? There's a ring so you can like swipe and like like stuff. Just like, so you don't have to like ever be like holding the phone. Oh, so it's just the tactile. So yeah. this I is, know what you mean. Yeah, so you can, can double be, tap. First of all. Yeah. So you don't even have to hold the weight of the yeah, phone. Yeah, let's yeah. stop calling it for TikTok. <laughs> and secondly, the ring the, the ring's you, on the left will, hand. Will you name for this guy? Sure. <laughs> yeah. For never, sure. For sure. The never, ring's on the left never, hand. Never. Yeah. Dude, this is told to me in confidence. <laughs> yeah, I bet, dude. There's no fucking it's way. It's like he told you he eats his own booger. Yeah, dude. That's something you tell nobody. <laughs> that is a crazy motherfucker, dude. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Groove Life. I gave this lesbian wallet to my friend Chris. <laughs> Is that in the text? No. Uh, I was about to really respect Groove Dude, Life. It's me too. If they were, <laughs> no, because I gave them kind of a bad read. I think last time it would be funny if they uh, watched and got I guess pissed. we can keep that in. I don't know. <laughs> it's time to upgrade your style with Groove Life. The Groove Wallet is your new sleek accessory. One simple thumb motion perfectly fans out up to six cards for easy access to find everything you need. You have you still use your wallet, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm coming. I'm really. Coming you got it on you. Yeah, I got let's it go, on dude. Me, baby. Fire up that activate, dude. The fucking boom! <laughs> I need an exit. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. With its durable, high quality aluminum outer shell, this wallet is unlike any wallet you've ever seen. Whatever happens to your Groove Life gear, they are here to help. With the Groove Life, this is nuts. Groove Life's 94 year no BS warranty. The Groove Life wallet is the last wallet you'll ever need. Time to bring your wallet into the 21st century. <laughs> Head to GrooveLife.com slash Stuff Island and use promo code Stuff Island for 20% off all your Groove Life products. That's the best offer you'll find, but you'll have to use our code Stuff Island for 20% off. Yeah. One last time, promo code Stuff Island for 20% off. Hey, yeah, hey, hey. Okay, baby, Magic Spoon. Get your fucking Magic Spoon. Growing up, cereal was one of the best parts of being a kid. But as I got older, I had to watch out for Shuggy and Shuggy. <laughs> I like that. Too much Shuggy. Too Shuggy. much Shuggy and empty candies. <laughs> uh, Magic Spoon has amazing flavors you love, but high protein and less sugar. All right. Uh, <laughs> so I mean, remember how big's that. the font that you got to move remember this that? up? Look, they got a variety pack, uh, four flavors, cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter. This pack has zero grams of sugar, 13, 14 grams of protein, four or five net grams of carbs, only 140 calories a serving. That's less than a fucking honeycomb IPA. Yeah. It's way less than honeycombs. Why you got to compare it to a beer? What? I'm just saying. It's compared to a cereal. That's like, that's like a Michelob Ultra almost. <laughs> Uh, it's high protein, has zero grams of sugar, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, and soy free. No soy. Okay. Let's get the soy the fuck out of no my No soy, boys. I'm not kind uh, of <laughs> go to magicspoon.com slash stuff to grab a variety pack and try it today. And be sure to use our promo code stuff at checkout to save $5 off your order. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product. It's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund you your money, no questions asked. Yeah. You don't get that with Honeycomb. Nah. You buy Honeycomb and you don't like it, you're screwed. I love these people that eat 90% of the box and send it back and so they don't like it. Yeah, that's- Oh, you didn't like it? Yeah, yeah. You ate that much? Seems like you liked it. <laughs> ate a lot. Seems, Seems like, like everybody liked it. They just want to try another flavor. Remember, get mm. your next delicious bowl of high-protein cereal at magicspoon.com slash stuff and use the code stuff to save $5 off. Thank you, Magic Spoon, <laughs> for sponsoring this episode. Thank you, Magic Spoon. Thank you, Magic Spoon. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Magic, Magic. Thank you, Magic Spoon. Thank you for taking the Shuggies out of my series. Yeah, yeah. Get those Shuggies shuggy. and Carbies gone. Uh, is that it? Do that's, you guys do like it. a... And back to what we were talking about. <laughs> no. Dude, it's... Yeah. And how old is great. he? It doesn't matter. It he's does. <laughs> it matters a lot. Does he have he's a wife young. and he's kids? Young. He's young. No, he's young. No, no, no. Oh, okay. And he's an active person. He's not like. Yeah, he's actively seeking kids to eat. <laughs> <laughs> of course, he's fucking active. He's looking to fill his trunk. How is how is Instagram's story thing different from TikTok? Really? Um. I actually, I always say TikTok's algorithm is more democratic, meaning like anybody has a chance on TikTok. Where uh uh. Instagram's algorithm, I think it needs to have an aesthetic appeal, no watermarks on it. And it, it, 
the higher quality of video, the better. And I find that things that are closer up do better mm. than further away. Interesting. Yeah. This they're really they're really ruining us with this stuff. It's you know ruining I mean? art because I think it people cater their humor now to it. The algorithms. Yeah, to yeah. algorithm what hits harder. But I get it because bookers don't book you unless you got big numbers these days. It's fucking ridiculous. It's so yeah. annoying. I get they, lazy about it and you're like, it's I have to edit so many hours of myself a day that I've just been saying, like, I just hate myself. The <laughs> amount of, like, I've been leaving nasty comments on my own videos. <laughs> nice hair, bitch. Why don't you go kill yourself? <laughs> Just to test to see if your fans will stick yeah. up for you. <laughs> my beehive. Dude, no, it's, it's be, no, I totally get it. I mean, Burke sent us three videos to to edit. He edited it rather to like select from. Yeah. And it's been like four days and I'm like, I can't. You have to be in a headspace to look at yourself for even 60 to 90 seconds. Yeah, it's brutal. I can't it's, imagine editing your own podcast it's or also, listening to your own podcast. I yeah. do. I color or I'll do stuff like mindless activity. And then if. I'll put a little marker to be like, all right, I like here, but you, you do get used to it. I, but I've never been a person that likes listening to my sets. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I just rather yeah. remember yes. or I can watch video, but I can't hear myself. Uh, that's yeah. a, that's uh, the, the, the upside of being sober. Yeah. You get off stage and you're like, that tag worked in the middle. Yeah, like, yeah. 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 That was yes. 45 minutes in. Dude. Yes. Yes. Like, yes. I, have yes. No, yes. I get off stage. Like I get off a podcast couch. I'm like, I don't know what happened in there. Like, <laughs> every week I ask him like Burke was that good he's like yeah it's hilarious I'm like I don't think it was that good <laughs> I'll just wait till the numbers come up dude I think that is that is the thing I think they're like intentionally this is one of my this is one of my conspiracy theories I think they intentionally like you there's no way you could tell whether their algorithm they're constantly working on is doing well yeah. why do they need to work on it at all all the garbage is on there. Who gives a fuck? Don't don't act like you've perfected a way to show us stuff that we're yeah that we hooked up. I would be watching anything. I just keep swiping. Yeah, also, you, yeah, know, yeah. you show me tons of stuff that I hate. I just move past it. You yes. know what I mean? I keep getting. It's like these, when they rearrange uh, the grocery store. It's like what? Wh yeah. Why? I feel like I'm like that in my living space. Though. Who's this benefiting? It's yeah. been five years in the same setup. <laughs> Chris, you buy two you avocados just move the eggs. a month. You gotta move the eggs. So it's like yeah. What? <laughs> you literally buy three ingredients every six months. It's trust me, they've done the research. No, I know. This is why I yeah. stopped going. It's for the Dominican women. It's why I stopped going out with their kids. I went to the grocery store regularly for quite some time, and then oh, I, yeah? then they kept rearranging things, and I I didn't like it. Yeah, there's like six, and it was Whole Foods. It was Whole Foods. It's like, oh uh, yeah, I can't shop at Whole Foods. It's yeah. too not in New York. Shopping in New York is a fucking. I went to Marshall's Saturday. Oh, well, that's, that's fucking, <sighs> Thinking man. like the one in uh, Midtown? No, in Queens. Oh, okay. It's kind of walking distance. I, you generally, you have to stand in line the moment that you walk in the store. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not standing in line for items that I barely think I might want. Yes. I only come in here as like, let's see what's happening yeah. here. Like a there's spur a of the moment purchase. Yeah. There's a line to get into Marshall's. It's, go to the one on- On a Saturday. Go to the one. Oh, that's, you can't even walk down the app. Everything's like- Sarah, this is kind trash. of your fault though. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, you don't go to UPS on a weekend. You don't go True. after 5 p.m. Yeah. You wait till it rains and it's a Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> and no one's waiting in fucking line. Early in Same the morning. Same thing with Marshall's. Same <laughs> yeah. thing with TJ Maxx. You go to the place, go like upper midtown. I think there's one on like 23rd. Yeah. Never go to Queens. Never go on a weekend. Oh, it was a also Trader Joe's. People go apeshit for Trader Joe's here. I can't even step in there because I find also, that's another place that you have to stand in line immediately once you get yeah. in the store. Yeah. It's that's, just white people ruining everything. You just go. I, I all you these, go to the, yeah, all, like the international. You go to the international. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's international cheaper. Anything yes. cheaper. The, the produce like is fresher. People, yeah. yeah. Seeing people wait online to get into a bar. Like, yeah. You know how many bars there are? I know. Anything. There's a cookie line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a, there's a line of a hundred white people out front of a, a ch chip cookie. Yes. Or something. It's like, dude, this is. How good is that cookie? It's, it's not. not. Yeah. It's fucking no. not. I don't Stop think it. anything is worth waiting in line Nothing. for. The not even Disney World. No. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Same. No. That's why I piss on cars at like a sporting <laughs> event. I'm not waiting yes. in line for a porta potty. Yeah. Get yeah. the fuck yeah. out of yeah. here. Yeah. No. I I can't. That's why I cut at the airport. 
you got to. Yeah. I can't take it. And there we go. Full circle, baby. Yeah. Yeah. I can't deal. I can't. Lines drive. Traffic always drove me nuts. It was like, I, I didn't really have any like fears as a kid. Like I wasn't yeah. like claustrophobic or really afraid of the dark or anything like that. <laughs> traffic. The moment we hit traffic, I was like, no. <laughs> I would start like, no. Yeah, yeah. How? How could it be? <laughs> Go. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Let's get off. Like, let's do something. <laughs> I still think you're daggone. Are you dumb? Because <laughs> yeah. if you're dumb, we could figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Just let me know. Are you yeah. dumb? Are you dumb? <laughs> you don't seem dumb. You don't man. seem dumb. But if you are, your mother and I will figure it out. <laughs> yeah, we'll work through it. <laughs> you're yeah. fucking dumb. All right, dude. Tra Let's yeah. go to the page. Traffic made me nuts. I, that's how I got good at sleeping in the car. I didn't mind traffic I when I smoked cigarettes. Because you true. can just, I'm just yeah, jamming chill. out yeah, and yeah. having Finally, a good the time. Ashes being yeah. blown in my face. Yeah. Did you vape? No, I never vape. I quit way before vaping was a thing. My, was a thing. That's yeah. cool. I yeah. yeah, I stopped like ten years ago. Occasionally, when we went on vacation, I've had a few cigarettes. And I, yeah, I still fucking love it. But that's okay though, right? Yeah, I yeah. mean, well, Joe hates it so much that I will never uh, start it. Yeah, yeah. It's also the breath. It is. It's so bad because he smokes cigars, and I'm like, this. I want to make <laughs> amends to every person I dated while I was a smoker. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. so bad. And now it's it's shit breath. Yes. you've been eating turds. Yes, <laughs> yeah. literally. Yes. Yeah, and people that typically smoke all day aren't like hydrating. No. <laughs> so it's like that fucking. That, it's like that organism coming out of the mouth of The Last of Us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it's what I imagine a smoker's yeah. tongue looks oh. like. Just a fucking mushroom coming out of their throat. But there's something so deeply. Like, I feel like that's one of those things that's just been part of our culture for so long. Like, our just. I think that's like deep in your human. It's like looking at a fire. You know, you can just like look at a fire. Yeah. And that's just what, enjoy and it. water. I, I think yeah. there was like something like, there's something actually it's genetic caveman. about that at a certain point where it's just like, if you didn't like looking at a fire, you wouldn't survive. Yeah. You know, you're we're like, also cleansed of the, of the filth of smokers in public. Right. So yeah. when, when someone goes outside to smoke an actual cigarette, there's, and there's very few of them nowadays at the bars. No, you when they walk them. in, it's like, it's like I, I'm a fucking dog sniffing at, at an airport. Like yeah, I, I yeah. smell like the cocaine. Like, yeah. you know, exactly. There's two fucking Russians that go to this bar that I go to. Yeah. And they go out, they bop out for like a cigarette every like 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. And when they walk in the waft. Yes. And it's like, what do you, you're, and it's like masking your shitty perfume and your accent's already killing the fucking yeah, game. Yeah, dude. You're yeah, not helping Russian anything. accent is the cigarette smoke of languages. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. they're basically like, now we're, I'm just generalizing. <laughs> Let it go, baby. Like, yeah. just like you're stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's and, and I guess Germans is like six cigarettes. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah at, at least vicious fucking. At language. least Germans have like pronouns. Don't don't fucking. Yeah, he's don't there. Russians I, not have words for like I me. I don't uh, know, but it's like, it's vi yeah yeah yeah. It's yeah. Reflexive and that's fucking yeah. insane. Are you Russian? No, oh, okay. No. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> well, cause it just seems like it's just certain like languages for some reason it's harder for them. Or I think English seems like we try to do the niceties and we go long way to be nice. But like there's times where they're being nice, but they're so like get to the point that you're like, that was pretty brutal. Yeah. Yeah. When you're like, what are you, your head is stupid. <laughs> and they just mean like you messed up. Yeah. yeah like yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like yeah, made yeah, a right, little right, mistake, right, right. but you're like, I got, can you not say it that way? There's no poetry. It's, yeah. it's all just prose. It's all just straight to the point. Your brain bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's jump over. We're going to jump over. the Patreon. Great. 